Hi, my name is Ul Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our vermenting bucket system. So this is the second time I've tried this. The first time worked incredibly well. Uh, I had tons of cocoons, tons of worms, and there was some material that was left over that needed to go back through the system, but most of it was composted fully, uh, and most of the scraps that were left over were paper. So we're going to open this one again. It's been a little longer than I expected. I was hoping to get to it around seven weeks. It's a little over that. It's at you know, 57 days, so it's a little over eight weeks now. So we're a week past where I really wanted to open it. But I want to take open it up, take a look and see how it's doing, and probably get it started again. So let's go and take a look and let's open it up. All right, so here's our bucket. We have our date of 10-11, 2020, and today is December 7th. So um, we're gonna open this up here. We'll take a look and see how it is inside. Um, I don't know if uh, there are any fruit flies that got in when I closed it up last time. So I've got my vacuum here ready to go just in case. But I did see some flying around here, but I saw them go in here, but come right back out. They couldn't get past this mesh netting that's in here that's on the sides as well, if you look around on these bins. So let's open it up and take a look and see how it's doing. It open here. Oh, a whole bunch of fruit flies in here. <laughs> so this might have been part of my fruit fly issue. Let me get my vacuum here and vacuum some of these up. With that, I think I'm gonna wait before I load this back up again because uh, I really wanna to try to prevent having any more fruit fly issues. I know that this drained and leaked out the bottom a little bit and they might've been drawn to it. I don't know where they got in from necessarily. I don't know if they were in there when I closed it up or what, and there's still a few more coming out here. So there's gonna be a whole bunch that I'm gonna to have to take care of in my basement. Hopefully my uh, traps that I have around here will work and get rid of them, but we'll see. So let me put on my glove and let's start tearing this down and see how it looks inside. Overall, you can see how much the material shrunk. You can see that this sock right here, oh wow, it's already, look at that, it's covered with worms here on the bottom. But the sock, I think all the, uh, the actual fabric material is now worn away. This is just, if you can see, you can see right through it. I think almost all that real fabric material has worn away and now it's just the, uh, the synthetic material that's left. So I'm gonna put that over here. Now let's just dig, dig in here real quick. So as you can see here, good, healthy worms. I mean, they're really, really healthy here. Hopefully you can see them well. So we're gonna dump this out real quick. I'm gonna just dump this out here in, this, in the tray that I've got to the side here. Let me zoom you out, it's the wrong way. So as you can see here, I've got that tray. There we go. I'll slide this over a little bit so you can see a little better. And let's dump this out. There's still a lot of worms left in there and everything, but a little bit of an odor to it this time, which I did not have the last time. I think there might've been a little bit too much moisture. I probably needed some uh, more paper in here, but nice healthy worms coming out of here. Still lots of uh, fruit flies, as you can see. As I said, hopefully I've got some traps around here. Hopefully they'll take care of them. Uh, if they get really bad though, I might've turned the vacuum back on. So right here, let me just bring you over here and zoom in. Actually, let me bring this over here. There we go, I think that's good. So now you can see, we can see we've still got a lot of paper left over in here. So this is gonna have to go into another bin. Lots of healthy worms though. I didn't load this up with too many worms this time either, I felt when I, when I loaded it up. But this will definitely have to be go through again. As you can see though, tons and tons of worms. I mean, just absolute loads of them. I mean, there's handfuls in here, which I normally don't see in my bins quite this way, but look at this. That's a huge handful of worms right there. And that's just one little area. I mean, this, this is just crawling with worms. So it's definitely a little too damp. I probably should have added some more paper or possibly some more, um, some more material that uh, would have been absorbing that moisture. 
So this time it didn't work quite as well as the first time for how it looks at the end here. More paper left over, but maybe if I'd added a different bedding material or if I had gotten rid of some of the moisture in the food, this would have done a little better. But overall, I mean, it's still, the, the materials all work through. If I was just dumping this out in the yard, like in the garden, this would be great material. I mean, it's just, you know, it's not fully composted, but I mean, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen red, red wigglers quite that big before. So, I mean, it's just, a, it really is amazing how well they do in here. Now, as far as cocoons, that was one thing that I really was impressed with last time. I just kept finding cocoon after cocoon after cocoon. This time, I'm not really seeing them. Let me just zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see what I'm looking at here. I'm not quite seeing them. I am seeing, again, these bones. These are, um, you know, the second time they've gone through. And actually, it looks like they're starting to break apart here on the tip, on this end right here. I will focus on my hand. There we go. This tip looks like it's starting to break apart a little bit. So I'm hoping that continues. And, you know, kind of keep running them through and see if they just slowly disintegrate apart. Actually, I can even squeeze this tip in and it gives. So they are starting to break down. They're just taking a uh, multiple run throughs as uh, Mark said that they would when I asked him about it. He said, because I know that he's run through some other stuff. Here's that sock again. Again, there's some more fruit flies on it, but hopefully we'll deal with those later. But as you can see, this is uh, this material. Only the top really has any fabric left that's probably consumable. This bottom section is probably all synthetic now. So it's done a really good job of going through that material. Put that back over there. Another big, large bone here. So hopefully that one will start breaking down. I'm not feeling that one be, that doesn't feel soft anywhere on it though. So there is a worm on it though, a little tiny one. You can see it, so we get it to focus. If it'll focus on my hand, apparently not. <laughs> so, but there was a little tiny worm on there. Now, as far as cocoons, I'm not seeing too many cocoons this time. Last time it was just loaded with cocoons. I'm just kind of slowly moving through this area that I've zoomed in on just to see if I see anything here. I'm not seeing any cocoons. Let me zoom you back out. There we go. And just kind of dig over here a little bit, see if I see anything in here. Again, plenty of healthy worms, but no cocoons. Let's just, let me look through the paper again here. You know, I'm surprised that there's none. But I'm not seeing any cocoons. So I wonder if they had hit their max population for this system. And I'm harvesting that probably at the correct time. Just trying to kill some of these fruit flies I see in here. So again, over here, I'm not seeing any, any cocoons or anything wrapped up in here. Just good healthy worms. I'll move that over here. Let's just dig through this pile a little bit just to see. Nothing in there. More paper, nice healthy worms on that paper. This is a stem, um, I was thinking about this, this is a grape stem that did not fully break down. Uh, but that's not surprising, these things take a while to break down from my uh, experience. So that'll have to go back into another system. Not seeing any in here either. Another piece of stem. Yeah, nothing in there. I am seeing a ton of worms in here though. This is this really always amazes me. Even after the last one that I opened, that there's just this many and there are this colorful. I mean, normally the ones I have are kind of small and, you know, they're not very colorful, but these, I mean, these look like they really have multiplied like crazy in here and they're nice and big. 
I mean, it'd be something, if you were shipping these out, these would be nice, healthy worms. They'd probably last a long time in, in a shipping container because of how healthy they are and hydrated and large. Um, you know, instead of shipping out ones that maybe are not as moist. So, and then we get our big handful here. Look at that. You can just see them, that they're, they're incredibly healthy. Now, as I said, I'm gonna hold off refilling this, but overall, this looks really, really good. The material is moist, but it's usable. This is also something, remember, this is a batch system, so I could always have left this longer you know, if I wanted to, or I could have, uh, you know, I could have, you could do this where this is your first system and then you throw it into another system to finish it off, which is what I did last time. I actually threw it into my uh, urban worm bag, my, my first urban worm bag that I bought. Uh, and that one, um, it really did help go through the material in there. I mean, I just threw it on the top. There's tons of worms in it. They rotate through material very quickly in that bin to begin with, but then you know, just adding a whole bunch of worms was just a great way to, to keep it going. So my goal right now is I'm probably going to harvest these worms and add them to another system. I'm going to let this dry out a little bit. Um, probably what I'm gonna do, stack this up into a pile and let the worms dig down. And then I'm gonna harvest them and I have another, a couple other things that I've been meaning to try. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing with this material this time. So I will, I'm not gonna show you how I harvest here because I think that's kind of boring, but essentially I'm gonna do the light method this time because this is too uh, moist and too big to go through my sorting system. So I'm gonna use the light method, get them to drill down in here, and I'm gonna have a pile of worms at the end, and then I'm gonna start another bin with, uh, with a new system that I'm trying out or new bedding material. So I'll have a video hopefully on that soon, but that's my update for how this uh, verma fermenting system worked in the in a five gallon bucket it did work it worked really well um i probably should have prevented any fruit flies from getting in there when i had it going um you know had i done that this would have been perfectly clean at that point when i opened it up and it would have been probably pretty good except for the you know this this leftover paper i mean almost all the food is gone you know i mean here's another piece of bone this one though it looks like has been hollowed out and yeah i can even break it now so the urban finishing off these bones that I had in here, which is what I, one of the things that I'm really trying to work through. So overall, it worked really well. I'm gonna let this sort. I'm gonna get out my vacuum a little bit more. I see a whole bunch of fruit flies crawling all over my lights. I'm gonna vacuum those up, and I'll show you the next time for my next bin that I'm starting up with this set of worms. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, please let me know. If you have comments or concerns or anything like that, also let me know. Um, as far as dealing with fruit flies, I know I've covered this before, but I do have my, my lamp that I have. And then I also have actually the, the standard fruit fly trap that everyone talks about. And that is a container with your apple cider vinegar. If they drop a dish soap in it, and the idea being that they fall in here and then they, they die. So I actually had this ready to go because I've had a, you know issues before in my basement. And I think I found where they might have been coming from now if they were you know living down in the bottom of that bucket and coming in and out of there. So again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, please also visit Mark's channel, uh, Eve Growing, uh, where he goes over this in more detail. And he has a massive wall system that he has set up that uh, looks really neat and would be a great way for somebody to go through a lot of food scraps and then add them to maybe one of the other vermenting systems if they're not quite finished like this is. So thank you again.